There's been an awful lot written recently about cloud computing. You see it in blogs, you see it on articles, and you probably have conversations around the office about it. But with all these opinions out there, what does it actually mean? So let's just start with the word cloud. What do we mean by the word cloud when we're talking about IT services? Well, the most well-known cloud is the internet. We use it every day, we use it in the office, we use it at home. And the reason we call it a cloud is you don't actually know where that Google server is, or you don't even know where that Amazon server is. But you trust it's going to work. You trust it's going to give you an answer. You trust your email is going to get there. And we've already developed a level of trust in those services such that we actually don't mind where they go. So when we take cloud computing and we apply it to an enterprise setting, what does it mean? Well, basically the trust model changes. You are the guy delivering those cloud services out to your organization, or you're using cloud services to deliver services to your organization. So you need to understand how to control the cloud, how to control the experience. And fundamentally, clouds are built on networks. So if you understand how to control the network, you can control the cloud. Whether it's private, public, half and half, partitioned, whatever. Fundamentally, control for clouds comes through control of network. That's the 100% guarantee way of knowing that the experience on the other side of that cloud is going to be something that is suitable for your organization. So why would you do it? We think there are a number of really, really good reasons to move to cloud computing. First is efficiency. It's a more efficient way of delivering services. Better use of asset, it's on very big network. Secondly, flexibility. You can start with a couple of servers in the knowledge that it will scale to an entire data center or a number of data centers for that matter. Disaster recovery becomes implicit with cloud computing. And finally, risk. You don't have to try and unpick which technology is going to win or which vendor is going to come out on top because that's our job. What we're going to deliver to you is a service that you can trust because we have a network that you can trust.